Josiah and Jehoaz, 2 Kings chapters 22 through 23 of the King James Version of the Bible. Josiah was eight years old when he began to reign, and he reigned 30 and one years in Jerusalem. And his mother's name was Jedidah, the daughter of Adiah of Boscath. And he did that which was right in the sight of the Lord and walked in all the way of David his father and turned not aside to the right hand or to the left. And it came to pass in the 18th year of King Josiah that the king sent Shaphan, the son of Azaliah, the son of Meshulam, the scribe, to the house of the Lord, saying, Go up to Hilkiah, the high priest, that he may sum the silver which is brought into the house of the Lord, which the keepers of the door have gathered of the people. And let them deliver it into the hand of the doers of the work that have the oversight of the house of the Lord, and let them give it to the doers of the work which is in the house of the Lord to repair the breaches of the house. Unto carpenters and builders and masons, and to buy timber and hewn stone to repair the house. Howbeit there was no reckoning made with them of the money that was delivered into their hand, because they dealt faithfully. And Hilkiah the high priest said unto Shaphan the scribe, I have found the book of the law in the house of the Lord. And Hilkiah gave the book to Shaphan, and he read it. And Shaphan the scribe came to the king, and brought the king words again, and said, Thy servants have gathered the money that was found in the house, and have delivered it into the hand of them that do the work, that have the oversight of the house of the Lord. And Shaphan, the scribe, shewed the king, saying, Hilkiah, the priest, hath delivered me a book. And Shaphan read it before the king. And it came to pass, when the king had heard the words of the book of the law, that he rent his clothes. And the king commanded Hilkiah, the priest, and Ahikam, the son of Shaphan, and Akbor, the son of Micaiah, and Shaphan, the scribe, and Asahiah, a servant of the king, sang, Go ye inquire of the Lord for me and for the people and for all Judah concerning the words of this book that is found. For great is the wrath of the Lord that is kindled against us, because our fathers have not hearkened unto the words of this book to do according unto all that which is written concerning us. So Hilkiah the priest and Ahakam and Akbor and Shaphan and Asahiah went unto Huldah the prophetess, the wife of Shalom, the son of Tikvah, the son of Harahas, keeper of the wardrobe. Now she dwelt in Jerusalem in the college, and they communed with her. And she said unto them, Thus saith the Lord God of Israel, Tell the man that sent you to me. Thus saith the Lord, Behold, I will bring evil upon this place and upon the inhabitants thereof, even all the words of the book which the king of Judah hath read, because they have forsaken me and have burned incense unto other gods, that they might provoke me to anger with all the works of their hands. Therefore my wrath shall be kindled against this place and shall not be quenched. But to the king of Judah, which sent you to inquire of the Lord, thus shall ye say to him, Thus saith the Lord God of Israel, as touching the words which thou hast heard, because thine heart was tender, and thou hast humbled thyself before the Lord, when thou heardest what I spake against thee this place, and against the inhabitants thereof, that they should become a desolation and a curse, and hast rent thy clothes, and wept before me. I also heard thee, saith the Lord. Behold, therefore, I will gather thee unto thy fathers, and thou shalt be gathered into thy grave in peace, and thine eyes shall not see all the evil which I will bring upon this place. And they brought the king word again. Chapter 23. And the king sent, and they gathered unto him all the elders of Judah and of Jerusalem. And the king went up into the house of the Lord, and all the men of Judah and all the inhabitants of Jerusalem with him. And the priests and the prophets and all the people, both small and great. And he read in their ears all the words of the book of the covenant, which is found in the house of the Lord. And the king stood by a pillar and made a covenant before the Lord to walk after the Lord and to keep his commandments and his testimonies and his statutes with all their heart and all their soul to perform the words of this covenant that were written in this book. And all the people stood to the covenant. And the king commanded Hilkiah, the high priest, and the priests of the second order, and the keepers of the door, to bring forth out of the temple of the Lord all the vessels that were made for Baal, and for the grove, and for all the hosts of heaven. And he burned them without Jerusalem in the fields of Kidron, and carried the ashes of them unto Bethel. And he put down the idolatrous 
priests whom the kings of Judah had ordained to burn incense in the high places in the cities of Judah and in the places round about Jerusalem, them also that burned incense unto Baal, to the sun and to the moon and to the planets and to all the host of heaven. And he brought out the grove from the house of the Lord without Jerusalem unto the brook Kidron and burned it at the brook Kidron and stamped it small to powder and cast the powder thereof upon the graves of the children of the people. And he break down the houses of the Sodomites that were by the house of the Lord, where the women wove hangings for the grove. And he brought all the priests out of the cities of Judah and defiled the high places where the priests had burned incense from Geba to Beersheba and break down the high places of the gates that were in the entering in of the gate of Joshua, the governor of the city, which were on a man's left hand at the gate of the city. Nevertheless, the priests of the high places came not up to the altar of the Lord in Jerusalem, but they did eat of the unleavened bread among their brethren. And he defiled Topheth, which is in the valley of the children of Hinnom, that no man might make his son or his daughter to pass through the fire of Molech. And he took away the horses that the kings of Judah had given to the son at the entering in of the house of the Lord by the chamber of Nithon Milech, the chamberlain, which was in the suburbs and burned the chariots of the sun with fire. And the altars that were on the top of the upper chamber of Ahaz, which the kings of Judah had made, and the altars which Manasseh had made in the two courts of the house of the Lord, did the king break down and break them down from thence and cast the dust of them into the brook Kidron. And the high places that were before Jerusalem, which were on the right hand of the Mount of Corruption, which Solomon, the king of Israel, had builded for Ashtoreth, the abomination of the Zidonians, and for Chemosh, the abomination of Moabites, and for Milcom, the abomination of the children of Ammon, did the king defile. And he break in pieces the images and cut down the groves and filled their places with the bones of men. Moreover, the altar that was at Bethel in the high place, which Jeroboam, the son of Nebat, who made Israel to sin, had made both that altar and the high place he break down and burned the high place and stamped it small to powder and burned the grove. And as Josiah turned himself, he spied the sepulchres that were there in the mount and sent and took the bones out of the sepulchres and burned them upon the altar and polluted it according to the word of the Lord, which the man of God proclaimed, who proclaimed these words. Then he said, What title is that that I see? And the men of the city told him, It is the sepulcher of the man of God, which came from Judah and proclaimed these things that thou hast done against the altar of Bethel. And he said, Let him alone, let no man move his bones. So they let his bones alone with the bones of the prophet that came out of Samaria. And all the houses also, the high places that were in the cities of Samaria, which the kings of Israel had made to provoke the Lord to anger, Josiah took away and did to them according to all the acts that he had done in Bethel. And he slew all the priests of the high places that were there upon the altars and burned men's bones upon them and returned to Jerusalem. And the king commanded all the Passover, saying, Keep the Passover unto the Lord your God, as it is written in the book of this covenant. Surely there was not holding such a Passover from the days of the judges that judged Israel, nor in all the days of the kings of Israel, nor of the kings of Judah. But in the eighteenth year of King Josiah, wherein this Passover was holding to the Lord in Jerusalem, moreover the workers with familiar spirits and the wizards and the images and the idols and all the abominations that were spied in the land of Judah and in Jerusalem did Josiah put away that he might perform the words of the Lord which were written in the book that Hilkiah the priest found in the house of the Lord. And like unto him was there no king before him that turned to the Lord with all his heart and with all his soul and with all his might according to all the law of Moses, neither after him arose there any like him. Notwithstanding, the Lord turned not from the fierceness of the great wrath, wherewith his anger was kindled against Judah, because of all the provocations that Manasseh had provoked him withal. And the Lord said, I will remove Judah also out of my sight, as I have removed Israel, and will cast off this city Jerusalem, which I have chosen, and the house which I said my name shall be there. Now the rest of the acts of Josiah and all that he did, are they not written in the book of the chronicles of the kings of Judah? In his days, Pharaoh, Necho, 
king of Egypt, went up against the king of Assyria to the river Euphrates, and King Josiah went against him, and he slew him at Megiddo when he had seen him. And his servants carried him in a chariot dead from Megiddo and brought him to Jerusalem and buried him in his own sepulcher. And the people of the land took Jehoaz, the son of Josiah, and anointed him and made him king in his father's steed. Jehoaz was twenty and three years old when he began to reign, and he reigned three months in Jerusalem, and his mother's name was Hamutal, the daughter of Jeremiah of Libna, and he did that which was evil in the sight of the Lord, according to all that his fathers had done. And Pharaoh Necho put him in bands at Riblah in the land of Hamath, that he might not reign in Jerusalem, and put the land to a tribute of an hundred talents of silver and a talent of gold. And Pharaoh Necho made Eliakim, the son of Josiah, king in the room of Josiah his father, and turned his name to Jehoiakim, and took Jehoahaz away, and he came to Egypt and died there. And Jehoiakim gave the silver and the gold to Pharaoh, but he taxed the land to give the money according to the commandment of Pharaoh. He exacted the silver and the gold of the people of the land of everyone according to his taxation to give it unto Pharaoh Necho. Jehoiakim was twenty and five years old when he began to reign, and he reigned eleven years in Jerusalem, and his mother's name was Zebudah, the daughter of Padiah of Rumah, and he did that which was evil in the sight of the Lord, according to all that his fathers had done. In this reading, we'll also include Jehoiakim and Jehoiachin's reign, and Zedekiah, the last king of Judah. So I will read to the completion of 2 Kings. Chapter 24. In his days, Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, came up, and Jehoiakim became his servant three years. Then he turned and rebelled against him. And the Lord sent against him bands of the Chaldees, and bands of the Syrians, and bands of the Moabites, and bands of the children of Ammon, and sent them against Judah to destroy it according to the word of the Lord, which he spake by his servants the prophets. Surely at the commandment of the Lord came this upon Judah to remove them out of his sight for the sins of Manasseh according to all that he did, and also for the innocent blood that he shed, for he filled Jerusalem with innocent blood which the Lord would not pardon. Now the rest of the acts of Jehoiakim and all that he did, are they not written in the book of the chronicles of the kings of Judah? So Jehoiakim slept with his fathers, and Jehoiachin, his son, reigned in his stead. And the king of Egypt came not again any more out of his land, for the king of Babylon had taken from the river of Egypt unto the river Euphrates all that pertained to the king of Egypt. Jehoiachin was 18 years old when he began to reign, and he reigned in Jerusalem three months, and his mother's name was Neheshta, the daughter of Elnathan of Jerusalem. And he did that which was evil in the sight of the Lord, according to all that his father had done. At that time, the servants of Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, came up against Jerusalem, and the city was besieged, and Nebuchadnezzar king of Babylon, came against the city, and his servants did besiege it. And Jehoiachin, the king of Judah, went out to the king of Babylon, he and his mother and his servants, and his princes and his officers, and the king of Babylon took him in the eighth year of his reign. And he carried out thence all the treasures of the house of the Lord and the treasures of the king's house, and cut in pieces all the vessels of gold which Solomon, king of Israel, had made in the temple of the Lord as the Lord had said." And he carried away all Jerusalem and all the princes and all the mighty men of valor, even 10,000 captives and all the craftsmen and smiths, none remained, save the poorest sort of the people of the land. And he carried away Jehoiachin to Babylon and the king's mother and the king's wives and his officers and the mighty of the land, those carried he into captivity from Jerusalem to Babylon. And all the men of might, even 7,000 and craftsmen and smiths, a thousand all that were strong and apt for war, even then the king of Babylon brought captive to Babylon. And the king of Babylon made Mattaniah his father's brother king in his stead and changed his name to Zedekiah. Zedekiah was 20 and one years old when he began to reign and he reigned 11 years in Jerusalem. And his mother's name was Hamutal, the daughter of Jeremiah of Libna. 
And he did that which was evil in the sight of the Lord, according to all that Jehoiakim had done. For through the anger of the Lord it came to pass in Jerusalem and Judah until he had cast them out from his presence that Zedekiah rebelled against the king of Babylon. Chapter 25. And it came to pass in the ninth year of his reign, in the tenth month, in the tenth day of the month, that Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, came, he and all his hosts, against Jerusalem, and pitched against it, and they built forts against it round about. And the city was besieged unto the eleventh year of King Zedekiah. And on the ninth day of the fourth month, the famine prevailed in the city, and there was no bread for the people of the land. And the city was broken up, and all the men of war fled by night by the way of the gate, between two walls, which is by the king's garden. Now the Chaldees were against the city round about, and the king went the way toward the plain, and the army of the Chaldees pursued after the king and overtook him in the plains of Jericho, and all his army were scattered from him. So they took the king and brought him up to the king of Babylon, to Riblah, and they gave judgment upon him. And they slew the sons of Zedekiah before his eyes, and put out the eyes of Zedekiah, and bound him with fetters of brass, and carried him to Babylon. And in the fifth month, on the seventh day of the month, which is the nineteenth year of the king, Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, came Nebuchadnezzar Adan, captain of the guard, a servant of the king of Babylon, unto Jerusalem. And he burnt the house of the Lord and the king's house and all the houses of Jerusalem and every great man's house burnt he with fire. And all the army of the Chaldees that were with the captain of the guard break down the walls of Jerusalem round about. Now the rest of the people that were left in the city and the fugitives that fell away to the king of Babylon with a remnant of the multitude did Nebuzaradan, the captain of the guard, carry away. But the captain of the guard left of the poor of the land to the vine dressers and husbandmen. And the pillars of brass that were in the house of the Lord, and the bases in the brazen sea that was in the house of the Lord, did the Chaldees break in pieces and carried the brass of them to Babylon. And the pots and the shovels and the snuffers and the spoons and all the vessels of brass wherewith they ministered took they away. And the fire pans and the bowls and such things as were of gold and gold and of silver and silver, the captain of the guard took away. The two pillars, one sea and the bases which Solomon had made for the house of the Lord, the brass of all these vessels, was without weight. The height of one pillar was 18 cubits, and the chapter upon it was brass, and the height of the chapter, three cubits. And the wreathen work and pomegranates upon the chapter round about all of the brass, and like unto these had the second pillar with wreathen work. And the captain of the guard took Sariah, the chief priest, and Zephaniah, the second priest, and the three keepers of the door. And out of the city he took an officer that was set over the men of war and five men of them that were in the king's presence, which were found in the city and the principal scribe of the host which mustered the people of the land and threescore of the people of the land that were found in the city. And Nebuzaradad and captain of the guard took these and brought them to the king of Babylon to Riblah. And the king of Babylon smote them and slew them at Riblah in the land of Hamath. So Judah was carried away out of their land. And as for the people that remained in the land of Judah, whom Nebuchadnezzar, King of Babylon had left even over them. He made Gedaliah, the son of Ahikam, the son of Saphan, ruler. And when all the captains of the armies, they and their men, heard that the king of Babylon had made Gedaliah governor, there came to Gedaliah to Mizpah, even Ishmael, the son of Nathaniah, and Johonan, the son of Kariah, and Sariah, the son of Tehumeth, the, the Netaphathite, and Jaazaaniah, the son of Maakaathite, they and their men. And Gedaliah swear to them and to their men, and said unto them, Fear not to be the servants of the Chaldees, dwell in the land, and serve the king of Babylon, and it shall be well with you. But it came to pass in the seventh month, that Ishmael, the son of Nethaniah, the son of Elishamah, of the seed royal, 
came and ten men with him and smote Gedaliah that he died and the Jews and the Chaldees that were with him at Mizpah. And all the people, both small and great, and the captains of the armies arose and came to Egypt, for they were afraid of the Chaldees. And it came to pass in the seven and thirtieth year of the captivity of Jehoiachin, king of Judah, in the twelfth month, on the seven and twentieth day of the month, that evil Merodach, king of Babylon, in the year that he began to reign, did lift up the head of Jehoiachin, king of Judah, out of prison. And he spake kindly to him and set his throne above the throne of the kings that were with him in Babylon and changed his prison garments. And he did eat bread continually before him all the days of his life. And his allowance was a continual allowance given him of the king a daily rate for every day all the days of his life. 